What is up, YouTube? We got a whole day of getting stuff organized, moved around, fixed up. There's a car sitting on a trailer out there that I don't know if you guys will recognize, but we need to get crack lacking on that thing. Just like we need to get crack lacking on this G body, which means I gotta get some fluids put into this run stand so I can make sure this motor is gonna be all right. I gotta fill up the motor and transmission, make sure everything's gonna be kosher before I go ahead and just stab them in the car because I don't wanna find out the hard way that the trans is bad or whatever the case. I did fire the motor just for a second. It does run, it sounds pretty good. It does have vacuum leaks because I have stuff unplugged. But more to come on that. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and we're gonna get into it. All right, so I got my box of parts and we are headed to the shop, but what is Cole's car doing here? Cole's car is here to get a finish-ish tune on it somewhat so he can at least drive it and enjoy it. I'm not the most advanced at HP tuners and I don't tune like regularly. The only thing I've ever really messed with is the G-Body so I have a little bit to learn yet. So it is here so I can do it in my free time as he lives 45 minutes away from me and sometimes it just don't work out. So we gotta go ahead and get that thing unloaded so it can go in the shed so I can play with it. But we'll get to that later. All right, so we need to get this shop picked up. I left it a mess, but I gotta get the frame put back as a rolling chassis so I can use the lift to put the motor in the car because I don't have a cherry picker over here, but that's pretty minor. It's uh, six... <clears throat> So I left the shop a mess last time I was here, so I gotta pick up a couple things, but we are going to get this motor filled up with fluids and started and ran, and then we'll go ahead and clean it with dollar store oven cleaner, and you can see how well that works. After the motor and tranny are in the car, it's pretty much get a drive shaft made and reassemble everything that I already made for it, and now it's a six liter four LA. But I'm gonna make an entire video of how to LS swap a G body and what it costs on a budget or an LS swap on a budget. It happens to be a G body. I don't know, something along those lines, but an entire start to finish, hook this wire up, plug the harness in, do this, do this, do this, and it starts. And it looks like it's gonna rain even better. I'll have Jack give me a hand carrying that bad boy back in later. We'll just pick the whole thing up rather than drag it. All right, so I got the motor picked up off the stand. I gotta take the pan out because I broke the dipstick tube off and I had to beat it into the pan. So now I'm taking the pan off. I need to run to the parts store quick so I can get an oil pressure gauge so I can run it for a minute and make sure that it's got oil pressure before well, with a little assistance, we got the oil pan off. So now I can play around and find the dipstick tube. Found it. Okay, so I've been getting my butt kicked a little bit, but uh, the pan's clean. I'm about to dump oil in it. I've been working on the fuel system. So the tank is mounted, the pump works, and everything is plumbed. Okay, so this thing's running pretty rough, and I don't have my computer out here to plug into it. Run. From now to the new video, I'm gonna go ahead and get the six liter PCM unlocked and get the vat shut off and all of that so I can just plug it in and be done with it. This is ready to get stabbed into the car, so that'll be the next video. And I'm gonna start filming that as soon as I get this mess in here cleaned up. So there'll be more content coming. I am an absolute freaking idiot. So I just started that running on four cylinders. Let me show you. I forgot that I had to flop the spark plug wires up to get the manifold off. So I guess uh, let's plug these back in and try again real quick. Alright, let's see what it does now.
class on that. All right, so that's way better, but it still needs to be on the six liter PCM. But I'm gonna leave you with that. Make sure you watch the next video. I'm gonna show you how to LS swap a car with this exact setup. My car is the G body, but everything is pretty much the same car for car. So make sure you don't miss that.